Hi there again everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day and a fabulous October. Um, and as you can see from the title we're going to have a bit of a play with some out there makeup because October's the time to do it. Why not just, why not just do it? Um, so I'm going to try and create a devil look that I have already practiced but it didn't turn out as well as I thought and I've only done it once. So we're going to see if we can pull it out the bag today. So I'm going to go and do my brows um with my AOA Studio Wonder Brow which is that right here and they're going to be extremely dark which is right here I'm going to do my brows really really dark though um, I mean that is the colour that I'm going to use so I'm going to do them off camera because they take me ages um, and I'm going to come back and we're going to jump into this a devil look but while you're visiting, why not hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that jazz, and I'm going to go and do my eyebrows. There we go. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Ico um, Fat Eye Stick, and it's like a black eye crayon type thing, and I'm just going to put this all over the lids. Um, so I did put my P. Louise base down that I usually do. So I'm just going to put this like right into the crease there, because I do want to go really high with this. And I'm just going to put this down as a base for um, some black eyeshadow. I have got the black P. Louise base, but I feel like the black P. Louise base I just completely lose control of. Um, and don't do very well with it, so I thought I'd do this one today. I mean, usually if I was just doing like a smoky eye, I wouldn't go that high up with it. But I'm going high up today. Okay, so they're about as even as they're going to get. Um, I'm not going for neat, I'm going for just a devil red black look so i'm gonna go in with um my jacqueline hill um morphe palette volume two i'm gonna go in with a uh, temptress which is this black here i'm gonna cover my whole lid so i'm just gonna take this um like hey shorty kind of stiffer brush and i'm just gonna go in with that and i'm just gonna pat that all over the lid just everywhere and that black base just really sets the the black eyeshadow off. So top tip there, top tip, and go right up to the edge with it, and then down there like that. We're getting a little bit of a shape. Make sure we're getting all those wrinkles because the last thing you want when you've got black eyeshadow on and you've got a few wrinkles is to be able to see the wrinkles. Okay, so I think that is about as even as those bad boys are going to get. So I'm going to jump in with my Be Perfect um, Carnival 3 palette. And I'm going to go in with Chili Pepper. That's purple. That's Chili Pepper right there. And I'm going to put that like just above that black. So I still want to be able to be packing on a bit of colour with this. So I'm going to use, it's a fluffy brush because I do want to blend it. Um, but it's like a smaller, fluffier brush. And I'm just gonna pack that like just above the black there, but do like a 50 50. Can you see how that red is looking there? And I'm gonna bring that right round to like the nose. So we just want little and often just keep packing it on. And I'm gonna bring that out there as well, out into the outer portion of the eye there and kind of up as well and I'm really I'm gonna when I first did this this it was like quite severe but I want to try and maybe blow it out I don't know I don't know how it's gonna come out if I'm being honest I have no clue so I'm just gonna clean up that black a bit under my eye because I feel like it's kind of messing with what I'm doing it's very pigmented that black that's literally all over my face so back in with chili pepper and I'm gonna go really far out there and hang up there. And I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, so that is both eyes um, done with the red and the black. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this fluffy blending brush. I'm gonna blend the black into the red and just see how it looks. Um, so I'm gonna start with the outer portion and lightly. So I'm gonna take the end of my brush because I want to be light and just kind of blend them in together. But I don't, I don't want to lose this shape. I quite like the shape. But we're just going to see how we go with it. Just to kind of like diffuse it a little bit. If you know what I mean. 
it's actually helping helping to deepen that um, chili powder into deeper reds. So I think I'm going to blend that, and then I'm going to go back in with the chili powder if that makes sense. Chili pepper, not chili powder. Wrong one. Right, this palette's really heavy as well. I can't hold that. Um, that's the only thing with the carnival palettes is they're like super heavy. Um, so I do struggle because I've like the I've, like the tiniest little hands. So holding a palette of that size for a significant amount of time does like wear on me. And I'm just going to blend the other eye as well. So I'm just going to take a Q-tip and tidy up this brow bone slightly because I want to blend a different, like a lighter red into that brow bone. Well, what's left of it? Because we've gone high up and I'm going to go back in with chili pepper from my uh, carnival palette. And I'm going to re kind of like deepen that but blend it this time as well in the uh, makeshift crease because that my crease is not here and just bring it round as well I'm gonna do the other eye as well the thing is about reds is once you start to kind of like blend them they can just look pink um, and that is not what I want I want a red so I'm gonna go in with I think with this uh, sample beauty palette, the painter's palette, I'm going to go in with Leo, which is this here. I'm going to go with a fluffy brush, like a, a flatter one, and I'm going to blend that into chili pepper and just see how it looks. See how it can look a little bit pinky here, but I can deepen that up. I can just tap that down and deepen that eye up, and I think I'm going to go out here and make kind of oh, like a point maybe and go back in to that chili pepper and blend 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 see i'm kind of liking that now you know it looks a little bit messy the idea i've got in my head it's gonna look good it's gonna look good so let's do the other eye there may should have come around here with the red like that kind of on my nose a little bit do we feel about that? It's actually quite, kind of quite like that, so that can stay. It may come off with concealer because I may change my mind. So I have tried this look before and I'm doing it kind of how I did it before, but not exactly the same. Um, I'm kind of like morphing it into hopefully something better than what I had last time. I want to go right up to my brow bone and I'm, I think I might deepen that chilli powder up again. I'm loving this um, in the painter's palette though, the Sample Beauty painter's palette, it's called Leo. That's it there. That is nice. That is very nice. I'm gonna keep deepening it up so it goes from that like pink undertone to a red undertone because obviously my base is very light as well. Um, and if we put white and red together we make pink so we're gonna need to keep deepening it up to get it as red as possible. I'm gonna go back in with chili powder, not chili pepper, chili powder. No, it's chili pepper! Why well, can't I get the name of this thing right? Go in there a little bit again. Do you love this chili pepper colour, but it is like, it, it, you've got to ha have to build it, it's little and often, um, otherwise it's not, it doesn't go on right. Okay, so I'm gonna do the under eye. Before I do that, I'm just gonna kinda Tidy this nose up slightly and then tidy these up slightly. Can tidy them up better when we put the foundation on or any concealer, but this is what we've got right now. So that gives me a good guide for my, my bottom that's gonna, my bottom lashes, bottom uh, under eye that's gonna go up into what I've created there. So I'm going to put a little bit more base on as well though. I'm just going to use what's left on the brush and just tap that in because I want it to be intense. Let's give that a little tap with my finger as well. Okay, so the brush that I used the black on, I'm going to sweep that on my under eye. But first, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the fluffy brush and go with Leo and I'm going to just put it right on my under eye. Loads of it. 
and bring that into that there on the outer portion of my um, face really isn't it? It's you know not taking any prisoners with this are we? And I'm going to go in with chilli pepper this looks super freaky, I like I've got a superhero mask on um, and I'm going to sweep that up into this outer portion here again as well I forgot which palette I was going for there, I've got three on the go here and sweep that up again and just deepen that bit I mean I don't think, I think I'm going to definitely clear this up I'm not going to go as far down as what it is now uh, oh I've got pink all over my face now um, but it'll get there, it will get there loving it so I'll go, I'm going to go back in with the black from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to run that right like on the, la on the lashes and I'm going to tap it at first because if I just start swiping it's just going to go everywhere so we're going to tap 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 which is the best way to apply a lot of eyeshadows as well especially for more intricate looks tap and then blend when you need to and let's get this other side done and now I'm gonna um, take the brush that I had chili pepper on and I'm just gonna blend that black into those reds so I'm just gonna take a clean white and I'm just gonna like reduce that red a little bit um, obviously it's leaving a stain but when we get our foundation on there it will be fine and I want them as even as possible concentration was amazing my nose bits aren't even the realities of these looks um, and also it just looks that easy when like you're on TikTok and it's all done um, but it's not that easy check out my TikTok anyway make it by Claire Louise um, little plug for it there that is definitely not even on the old nose but what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort it out with foundation because I feel like I'm just wiping away the work that I've done here okay um liner I'm gonna uh, I'm not going to do a wing liner or anything because that would be ridiculous with the amount of black eyeshadow I've got on but I'm going to do um, my waterline with my Maybelline um, Eye Studio Lasting no Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner it is a black 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 this uh, and I'm just going to put that in my waterline and bring it into that other black there that's already on like the lashes and it's going to be so black and look at that and this you put this on your waterline it's in a little pot got a little that's the pot there um, it lasts for ages so if you're doing like a, a smoked out look not just looking like a devil um, yes absolutely use this because it is amazing it lasts all day in that waterline you know I have to say I love just like jumping on and recording and doing looks that I've maybe tried once or never even done before and just learning with you guys the best way to do well to do my makeup um, because you know I can do other people's but sometimes doing your own face is so much different um, and you're a lot more critical of your own face obviously um, but yeah I do I love it so thanks for watching okay so now the line is done I'm gonna go off camera I'm gonna go and get my lashes done and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna um, make me look even paler than I already am so lashes are on I'm absolutely loving it um, I've added and you can see on camera that much but I've added like gold flecks to the lashes um, I used this YSL Couture eyeliner in nine um, so I've done like a gold eyeliner and then added it to the lashes as well and then just added it to the outer portion or the inner portion I should say what is wrong with me today the inner portion of the eye um, so I've got some um, like gold foil that I could maybe um, glue to my face <laughs> that sounds really weird um, and obviously not permanently glue um, but I think I'll put the foundation on and then see how I feel first so I've mixed um, a foundation I was I, I don't want to go white face um, completely like white base but I've 
mixed um, I'll lighten that in with one of my lightest foundations and I'm just going to put that on my face with a brush uh, so I'm going to use this PC01 brush and I'm just going to layer that on really go to town on it I'm going to put it down my chest as well because you know why the hell not and then this gives me the opportunity to really like shape that eye makeup as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a small eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to really shape the eyes out. Oh, itch, itch. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to really shape those eyes out and give them what they need. Just like stamp it in where it needs to be. Okay, so I'm going to get a beauty sponge and just like stamp it all in as well because it's really thick, really thick. Uh, um, and just like get rid of all the like the brush lines because it just gives me a nice cleaner base. Especially like around the nose where it really went thick. I feel like it doesn't always go under my nose. And then I'll put that into my hair as well which will help when I put my wiki on. Okay, so base is done. Um, I used a really like flat angle brush to get around the eyes and really get that line as sharp as I possibly could. Um, and last time I did this, I didn't use face paint, but I'm thinking I might go in with red to contour and just and just see how it goes really. I mean what what do you guys think? Do you think I should just do it? Should we just go for it? It's only makeup, we can take it off. So I have got this red face paint here, um, but I think I'm gonna go in with this um like stain sponge that I've got so it doesn't matter if I stain it anyway, and just pick up a little bit on a sponge and then just kind of tap what would be like a red contour. I'm going to go over it with powder. I'm just going to pick that up on there a bit more again as well on this, this red here. And then again. I just quite like that. And then I'm going to use the fat part of the brush to really like dab that in. That looks quite good. And let's do the other side. I do I quite like that. I'm gonna put put some on my chest. Like across there. On my collarbone. I really like that. I like that. Let's let us bring the straps down. You know, I'm not naked. I just look it now. Okay, so I've zoomed you out a little bit now. So you can see my chest. Really pat that in with a fat part of that brush we're going to be so devilish. Do I do? No. I like doing my forehead though. I can really tap it up into the hairline again. Because you know, devils are red. Oh, I've put my sponge in the blue. Frick's sake. That's the thing with it being so small. I mean, I could have put it on. I just scooped it out and put it on something, but I didn't. You live and learn, don't you? See, when you layer it, it looks so much more red. You can take that fat part and really blend it. Fat part of the beauty blender, that is. The big squishy part. I'm going to take any excess on there then. Uh, any excess, any product. I just used excess product for that. What I might do is I might set it all and then go in like a red to go over the top. So I'm gonna set I'm gonna set it with um I've got this nip and fab powder that I hate that gives me like a really white cast. So I might mix it with some RCMA because I want to use this um, because I've paid for it. I'm just tight like that. It's really right, really fine, and it's there's not a lot of it left to be honest with you. I've managed to use it. So I'm just gonna mix that in with some RCMA powder which is amazing and then I'm just gonna um, just pat that in with this little triangle yeah I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna pat it in with my triangle and then I might just like brush excess off with um, with a brush 
kind of goes without saying, doesn't it? You're going to brush excess off, you're going to brush it off with a brush. Okay, so I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush and just brush any excess away. I'm going to go in with this very, very fluffy brush. Uh, it is a PCO free, and I'm going to go in um, to Leo again on the Sample Beauty palette, which is this colour right here. I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm just going to like lightly go over that red just to kind of intensify it again and stop it looking so pink. Okay so apart from the wig and lips this is pretty done but I have got the gold. Let me find it. Should I just stick some on like, like um, gold peeling skin for the devil? Does the devil have gold skin? My devil has gold skin. Right, I just know this is going to go everywhere and I'm just going to try it on my chest and I'm going to try it with this special effects spirit gum first. So I think I put, I've never used this, I think I put some spirit gum on me. I might do some like crack veins as well, you know. I probably should have checked to see if I was allergic to this first before I started wiping it all over myself. Oops, going everywhere, going everywhere. Pick some up and just... Ah, it's floating away. Stick it on. So I've got, I'm gonna put some on my face as well. I'm gonna do my forehead, I'm gonna do a little bit on my eyes. I'm just gonna do the smallest amount. Definitely gonna do my forehead though. It's like very, it's just not fire, isn't it? It's just fire. It's it's actually really easy. You just leave it. Like you put like you would um, lash glue, and then it just sticks. But it, it's strong. So that is the like gold peeling skin for my devil. Um, I think I'm gonna do like some uh, like cracked vein type things, um, and I'm gonna use just a gold gold a black liquid liner, and I'm gonna do them around like the gold, so it looks like um, that the skin's kind of. You see there. So it looks like the skin's kind of like cracked. Can't see that one there. I'll do one on my face. Uh, so I'll do kind of one here. Can you see that? Uh, I'll do one. I'm gonna do one on my nose. So it's just really lightly just like a wig up and then just like some branches off it. Obviously it doesn't have to be perfect because a crack, cracked veins wouldn't be, would they? They wouldn't be perfect. Uh, so I'm going to do these on the rest of the face, well not all over the face but I'm going to do, I'm going to do enough. I'm loving that. Um, and I think it's time for the wig. I'm going to put the wig on before I do my lipstick and obviously I'm going to go and do a deep lip. Um, so I'm going to put my wig on. God knows how long that's going to take like this. Um, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to see the whole thing. We're going to see the whole thing. So guys, we have an almost finished look. Um, we just need to add the horns. We can't be a devil without horns, can we? Let's get those bad boys on there. Um, and I'll just see, got it's a cheap blonde wig from um, Amazon. And my lips, I used a Vice Blackmail, which is kind of my go-to deep lipstick at the minute. Um, but I feel like I look like a devil. I feel like um, I'm looking sufficiently scary. Um, yeah, I love, love it. I love creating it. Um, it may not be a traditional devil makeup but I kind of like it. I feel like I've come out the fires of hell with all the gold and the red and everything that's going on. Um, I mean this wig is so long. I've actually got it tied back in a bobble at the back of it. It's a huge huge wig. Let's zoom you out so you can get the full effect of the horns. Look at that. I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, I'm hoping to do at least one more Halloween look um, this year. I don't do a lot of them because it's not my forte, but I think this turned out quite well. I think, you know, why not? Um, it wasn't 
that simple for me it may be simple for other people but it wasn't that simple for me because like I say this is not my forte but I really enjoyed doing it and I hope to create some more looks like this or at least one more look um, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe and I will see you in the next video guys bye